Hello and welcome to what is a first for me and a first on this channel basically so this series is I'm going to be documenting a little project which I'm working on with a friend now this project is going to be a remote control claptrap from the video game Borderlands uh, now the plan is to have it not a full scale because that would just be too costly and would be very hard to transport or even store things like that so the idea is to make something perhaps more like quarter scale um, where something where I can quite easily store it, it's not going to be too heavy, it's not going to cost too much to make, but something which is still reasonably uh, big and stuff, uh, the plan is to take it to conventions, um, so obviously you're going to want to be able to easily carry it or transport it. So to do this, uh, I'm using some reference images, which I actually got uh, from the 2K website. Just search for Claptrap reference images on Google, Google Images. You'll get to these. These are actual cosplay uh, reference guides you can find from 2K. And uh, these give you all possible angles of Claptrap. So here, this is what I'm using as reference images from side on. See here, you've got a good view of the side view here. There's back, the other side view, and of course the front as well as also um, I have a separate one for the front which they made available so I can zoom into bits where I need obviously it's it's reasonably it's quite high res but obviously it's not super high res you can pixelate when you go in further enough but it's it's easily enough to do what I need to do so I've started work on the actual body here in Autodesk 123D Design which is my sort of first time doing any sort of real proper CAD work for real life and must say this program is extremely easy to use um, I didn't really need to watch many tutorials on it or anything like that I was able to get with it straight away learn the basics of it and it's really user friendly program and it's free I recommend you definitely check it out and um, use this if you're going to be using CAD work uh, if you need CAD work so here is the basic body design here the plan is to take this and uh, use this CAD model so that I could work out any of the angles and measurements of the body like that and then I can take those and scale them up um, for my real life uh, robot so this is basically just the basic box body of it which I'm going to be making out of wood um, so these are going to be obviously made up of the sides are going to be panels the idea is the middle is hollow for all the electronics and bits of other things are going in that so if I take one of these reference images, you can see here for the front view, what I tried doing is uh, taking this and trying to get it as close as I can to all the uh, uh, the edges. As you can see, Claptrap isn't just a simple sort of triangle prism pyramid type design. You can see the edges are slanted. They're not exactly even and it's not completely symmetrical. So this is what I tried achieving here of all the different angles of the body. So these are all tilted differently. Uh, so each side is basically tilted slightly differently to give this really sort of uh, abstract, unsymmetrical box shape as close as I can. And this at the bottom here, as you can see in this reference image, is uh, there's a gap for where the actual wheel goes and where's the wheel suspension, axles, etc. Uh, so here. Um, underneath obviously this will all be hollow things are at but I haven't done that in this because this is again just to get measurements so I switch this on to centimeter mode and um, yeah this is a uh, this is the basic CAD model I'm pretty pleased with this I think it looks a lot like claptrap and I think I've captured his features pretty well so now the idea is um, to have obviously electronics inside to move it but um, this is since claptrap if you look at claptrap here he just has this might be a better reference image to show you this uh, as you can see here, he just has this single wheel which can rotate round and move forwards or backwards as he's given his direction so it's kind of like a uh, a unicycle think about it. it's almost like a self-balancing unicycle which is what I'm gonna have to try and make the idea is uh, this wheel here I'm probably gonna split it into two separate wheels so the idea is I can use tank like control so that I can in order to get um, a really sharp turn or spin on the spot obviously one can go forward one can go backwards but the idea is to get the turning of it as well as keeping the forward or backward direction is just they have it so obviously when it wants to go forward both wheels move in the same direction the same speed but if I want to turn left or right then obviously one of the wheels will turn slightly slower than the other which will give it the turning direction so I think that will just simplify the controls uh, 
nicely uh, because I, I, I've i thought about making it to more move more like Claptrap where the actual wheel moves independent of the body um, in terms of left and right turning but that's just going to be really hard to achieve because you've got all that weight pressing the wheel against the floor so you're going to need a lot of torque in order to move those wheels anyway and I'm not too sure how I'd go about doing that well, without actually turning the body of uh, Claptrap so I think this is the simplest way of doing that the idea is to get treads that match up to make this sort of kind of design or an arrow kind of like design probably leave no more than a centimetre gap in between each wheel because obviously you're going to need a gap so they don't rub against each other but you don't want too big of a gap so that it's obvious that it's it's two separate wheels you want it to still look like it's one big wheel um, so I've been thinking about how to do the self balancing system so I've drawn some sketches here so this is the uh, system here so as you can see here um, the idea is uh, this is the just body I sketched out here uh, I did this on my tablet in Autodesk Sketchbook. Um, so this is an arrow just to show the body is going to be able to tilt forwards or backwards for when it's moving forward. Obviously the body is going to be slightly tilted forward because that's how Claptrap moves. And I want this system so that it's self-balancing much like you see with things like BB-8 or Sphero uh, or even Segways when they've got no one on them. Um, the idea is that they just stand perfectly up straight, perfectly still, with no twitching of the self-balancing. Um, or at least have the weight, so it, the actual weight inside the body will twitch, but you don't actually see it because it's inside the body. This is what I'm going to explain in a minute. So the body will be able to tilt forwards and backwards, much like how the claptrap can move. This is the wheel here. And I thought about possibly having a weight on the end of a big rod, basically, um, which goes up and... Uh, I initially thought about attaching it onto the axle, perhaps with just some bearing or something so it can freely move independent of the axle. But you'll see in later designs I've done it so it actually just attaches straight onto the body. And then potentially having some sort of springs either side to keep it tensioned so that um, the idea is, as you'll see from this system here, this motorized system, that the, the weight can also move forwards and backwards as well but the idea is to have it so it moves the opposite direction of the body so say for example this body moves forward but the weight will move backwards to counteract to counteract that weight that you've just shifted forward so much like how on a bicycle um, because you don't uh, fall left or right as you just use your weight to shift around to counteract the force so this is the same principle here same when you're riding a unicycle to stop you toppling forwards or backwards is it literally just moves this weight backwards the opposite direction so that it just counteracts it and keeps it so it stands upright still and the wheel can just move forward to dossier make it go forward so the plan by doing this is to have this big weight on the end of the rod now this weight can either be made up of lead weights or it could be made up of something like the lipo batteries any electronics arduinos things like that and then um, have this mounted onto an axle attached to the bottom of the body here, so this is freely moving. And then have two motors either side attached onto the body with a couple of, well, one wheel on either side, and then basically some sort of string, some sort of obviously high tension string, which attached into the middle here. So you've got tension both sides, so that, um, obviously this is then both pulled, um, the tension's pulled either side to keep this in the middle which is what the springs will also probably help to do and then uh, when the body goes forward in order to move this weight backwards obviously this motor can uh, can turn the wheel this way and this can do the the um, the same thing but keeping enough tension so these move the same direction at the same speed at the same time so that the idea is this still has slack on it but this will be the one that's pulling it and then this obviously stops it falling the other way and obviously stops it completely um, falling flat against this side here so then that's my plan to try and counteract that weight to keep it balanced I initially thought about doing this with a pulley system so that I wouldn't have to rely on electronics I wouldn't have to rely on about calculating all the maths uh, having any lag in electronics things like that but I think I'm gonna abandon this pulley idea purely because it would mean that as you can see there's only tension on one side of the weight so there's nothing to stop this from going from and falling against this. There's nothing this side to stop it from doing that. 
So I haven't done the draw on those springs here, but I think this is what I'm going to do. The plan is to build the body first and then uh, to start messing around electronics there. I'm going to try some small scale models um, just simply so I can just see how it's roughly going to work. But the idea is just to use trial and error um, once I've got the actual body built. And that will also give me uh, an idea of what sort of weight I need inside um, so I think that's pretty much it for this first video of the uh, claptrap uh, model uh, if you've got any ideas about how I could do things any better ways to do things any suggestions things like that uh, do 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 tell me in the comments um, it would be greatly appreciated and really really helpful this is the first time I've done anything like that and um, It'd be nice for me to actually work this out on my own or be able to get a good sense of achievement afterwards of being able to accomplish something like this. Uh, in terms of electronics as well, I'm planning on just using an Arduino to um, actually have um, the remote control. I probably might use two Arduinos, uh, purely so that I have one for the remote control and the radio gear, uh, and then have a second one with a gyroscope of things so I can tell uh how far forward the body is uh so i know how far back to move this weight etc like that so you've got more processing power and obviously separate arduino so you're not going to get clogged up or anything um so thank you guys for watching this first video on the claptrap model i think i've discussed everything sorry if this video has gone on a bit too long it doesn't seem to have gone on that long it's only about 10 minutes which is fine um so thank you guys for watching these um images i'll probably put uh make available just by clicking the link in the description and uh yes see you in the next video where hopefully we should have the body built or at least start work on it